Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to our 49 for Nurgalite campaign into threatenings to Warhammer mod. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, Papa Nurgal finally answered our prayers and actually gave me some of his magic powers, so now we're like officially a mage and that's cool, but I've stupidly enough decided to actually spend my magic powers on like constructing a sword, so now we're gonna be on like Regency Council for three years, right? Yeah. So, is it like a modifier somewhere around here? I don't remember, but, or I, I don't know, but I remember that I've started crafting a sword and let's hope that it's actually gonna be worth time uh, and effort spent on it. Let's hope you're not gonna die in these three years, because I'm not entirely sure how long this game gonna allow me to live, but we're already 134 years old. And we're not yet immortal, so... Let's hope we're gonna be able to become immortal... Uh, like, soon enough, before our death, would be very nice. Uh, okay, all this money is pretty damn good. Could we actually send gifts while we're... Yeah, we could. While we're uh, being on the Regency Council. Uh, but we need some extra piety to get any better gifts. So, what are we been planning to do? I don't remember. But we just need to conquer some extra stuff and do some extra chaos... Raids. I'm just gonna check out people around us. If you're allowed to do chaos raids, not on you. Yeah, I should be just checking your religion right away. The Dark Pantheon probably, yeah, not available. What about this guy? Have we having a truce with you? Not anymore. But actually, you're kind of far away to move to, so I don't really want to deal with you. Oh, I all freaking slanish around here. <coughs> well, there's quite a few slanish people. Not all of them, though. And with you we have a truce. Okay, that's slightly annoying. Just a little bit. What about this dwarf being taken? Still a truce. Truce is everywhere. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go gonna go to this green guy. Declare a war on him. And you Oh yeah, we might as well just go and take these goblins, right? Oh you have eight thousand troops. That's slightly disturbing. Uh but other than that, yeah, we ha you have 8,000, we have 16,000, so... The troops count are not really too much of a problem. Uh, also, we're still at war with... Oh yeah, at war with this guy, but we already sieged down the war goal. And I don't want to go here, so we're just gonna be sitting... Waiting for the second war score to finish the jump. So could I move my troops away now? Not entirely sure if this guy could get back in the siege, so let's just, let's just keep you... On the war goal for now, just in case. So, goblins, goblins. Do you only have two provinces in here, really? And already 8,000 troops? Or three provinces, rather. So, what is this thing? How are you getting to it? Okay, so there is like a path around. Mm -hmm, and that's gonna give me border with these dwarves. Yeah, let's, let's just kill this. Let's just kill these gnomes. Or not gnomes. The... Um, goblins. And then we might consider taking this Imperial thing. Imperial Talabek clan. If we actually could handle you. Oh, you only have 2000 troops. You're extremely weak. And soon we're gonna actually get ourselves a border with Transylvania. Which sounds a little bit scary. Because... Vampires are kind of powerful, but... Not as powerful as... Our Papa Nurgle, I'm pretty sure. Also, money. Could we upgrade anything else? Still constructing the ship in here, and we are still not doing it immediately, unfortunately. Oh my goodness, now. Not Kislevitz guts again. Go away. Uh, hmm. Let's go and split on our army in half. So, how many troops you exactly have? 7.86. What if I were to attack you with 8,000? Now we're, we would be taken into the mountains, so I'd better just wait for this army to come back before doing anything, any, doing anything else. Also have some free manpower. I'm not gonna be building any extra armies. And I, I probably, what I should do is like move my capital on the shore somewhere around here. Because we are currently expanding in this direction. So, having my capital here would be nice for building the armies. Because I wouldn't need to move them throughout, like, the rest of the map. 
Okay, you improved clan sentiment. Talking about clan sentiment, how it's looking right now? Oh, it's looking pretty well. Looking pretty fine with uh, everyone, so, okay. And our chancellors, all alive, all doing their work. Awesome. Okay, there goes the Kislevitz. Go away. And we also go, uh, get some f 200 piety for each of these rebellions, which is pretty nice. And you need to be... You need to be... Castrated, where are you? Oh, interesting, why I'm not allowed to castrate you? And no. We're allowed to ransom though, someone. And who am I trying to kill right now? This girl. Am I still not allowed to revoke her titles? Uh, must have a special revoke reason with visit. Choose, okay. That's reasonable then. Yeah, you got ransomed, that's great. Ships has been in oofs. Let's go start something else. And our horse died again. Yeah, we already had like 10 freaking horses. Because we were living so damn long time. Let's go and get a new one. And you're gonna be called... <coughs> I don't know, Sky. For the Papa Nurgle who's living in the skies. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go to my capital. And start construction of something else. Like... Yeah, population growth. Why not? So... Do I always willing to call you dwarves? You're not dwarves, you're goblins. Goblins, we're gonna take you. And I don't think you have any allies, or at least I hope you don't. Oh, this that's why you have so much armies, because you have a couple extra provinces in here as well. Okay. That might my might make it a little bit diff uh, difficult. Or more difficult to take you. So oh we could do chaos raids on you, but we're not going to do this because you have weaker targets. For uh, chaos raids, what we're gonna do is just subordination of this place, I think. Nearby Gork and Mork rulers might join the war. Oh, okay, that might be slightly problematic, but I don't think there's too many. Um, these guys are kind of close, but it's fine, I think we're gonna be fine. So, oh, <laughs> and we're almost already seizing your pawns, so it's gonna get the subordination of this place. And we're actually right nearby your capital, so we're gonna kill most of your armies in the first march. Uh, let's go and place some people on Church of the Army, not myself, so that's kind of dangerous. Yeah, we're crossing a river, we're having mountains penalty, but we're still fine. And I'm no longer stressed, that's great. It's gonna help me live a little bit longer. Actually, if I were to kill these 5,000 extra troops. Is there any chance I'm gonna... Uh, how we just uh, won this rebellion? I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, is there any chance I could just win this war without sieging down anything? It would be extremely convenient. And our other guy, our other stack is in position to declare a chaos raid. So let's go and do this on you. You don't need any... Uh, you don't need any army leaders. No, this thing gave me no war score because it's technically your vassal, which is kind of bullshit. Okay. Can I handle assault on your holdings? 16,000 on 2,000. Yeah, probably. We have plenty of manpower right now. So why not? And you just raised 8,000 extra troops? Are you freaking kidding me? Where are you got them from? Is it like some kind of weird event goblins have? Okay, I don't know, I'm gonna kill them as well, but you'd better not spawn something like that again, because it's getting kind of uh, out of hands. And this one's gonna be a lot harder to assault, 5,000, what about this one? I only have K 1k garrison, so let's go and set uh, assault you, and it's probably gonna be enough. Yes, it is. Let's go for the months. Awesome. Unfortunately, we picked up a vassal in here. But I think we could revoke titles from him. No problem. He's a tribal barbarian. Our vassals would not object. Oh! Since he's tribal barbarian, is the valid reason to revoke, apparently. Oh, but he's not willing to give away anything for now. Oh, and Sodus also is under his direct control. 
Interesting. What is this thing? Oh, build a new home. Okay. This one odd, odd tribe of Karas Yanir, tribe of Red Eye Mountain. That's cool. Uh, it seems that the province of Ungor Bar Indur was in the process of being colonized by the Greenskin Rancers in their particular way. Have managed to eliminate most of them, but some stragglers remain and cause some trouble until they disperse. What? Greenskin occupying province two out of two will be removed from Ungor Bar Indur. Ungor Bar Indur gets Greenskin hideout. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. So because they are uh, green skins, they have some weird traits. That's cool. Money has been disappearing from my treasury. And I expect my son. Okay. Uh, just give me your titles, please. You could rebel if you want, but probably not gonna work out. And yeah, he definitely decided to rebel. Oh well. Uh, let's just siege down your capitals and... F oh, f yeah. 5,000 troops. That's annoying. And all of a sudden we have 100% war score with you. Oh, because you lost this province. That's great. Sense for the surrender. And I'm just gonna go and burn down the sink. Awesome. And I need to give away two provinces. Okay. I don't have any extra lands at the top in here. I think I'm gonna be giving away... The ones there, if we already burned down something to the ground, and I really hope so. Mm hmm. I need something that's gonna be bordering him. But all of these ones are still need some burning to be done. Oh, well, I could give you Odo in wood, I guess. We're still gonna get a border uh, at some point, so... I'll just find the Odo in Wound. Okay, Odo in Wood, and anything else around here? Looks like everything else still has plenty of holdings. Uh, no, not. Not all of it. We're gonna get Granich too. This one's gonna be a little bit harder to find. But let's hope I'm gonna succeed in this. <laughs> Garanich, okay. So, now for the greenskins. It's gonna be hard to assault his uh, freaking capital with 5000 defenders. I don't know if I should try it or not. Let's see how quickly is it going to be for me to siege it down the old-fashioned way. 10% per 12 days. Okay, that's actually uh, quickly enough, so I'm not going to be wasting my men uh, on the souls. Also, you've called in some someone on your side. Or just your uh, your vassals, that's fine. The new bird is almost too perfect. I enjoy very hun uh, every hunt with your. And the cook has trouble finding new recipes for rabbit. Uh... Okay, you could become Falconer. Yeah, it's a decent trait, I think. Plus one diplomacy, same trait opinion. Yeah, nothing bad. And we finish siege down of this place. And I haven't even noticed. Great! Give me some extra Nurgle favors. Some extra Chaos uh, or Doom counter. Uh, I actually could leave this green guy in here just to farm this Chaos raid. It would be quite convenient. So, come back here. We'll look for the target to attack around there, and more pillages. More pillages is always nice. Mm -hmm. Also, how... How much time already passed since we've been forging this sword? I think about a year, maybe, so... Couple extra to go. Unfortunately, there's no, like, a... Uh, a timer where I could check when we're gonna be ready or when the sword gonna be ready and we're, when we're gonna be free by the way we, we have three three freaking thousands ducats and we can't really do much with them mm -hmm. my goodness there's a lot of pillagers Oh, 
Oh, and we burn down the green, green skin land as well. That's nice. Okay, that's it. Do we have some points to spend? Yeah, I think I'm gonna be just spending all on military organization and in economical advances. Nothing need to be uh, worked on right now. So you're gonna be continuing sieging down green skin lands. You're gonna be moving in here and our 8,000 stock at the top should be now free. So it's gonna start moving you down here as well. Actually, yeah, we have 5,000 troops so what, or 5,000 spare manpower and enormous amount of money. So why won't we go and build ourselves some extra heavy cavalry? Actually, we're spending precision heavy cavalry. So let's go instead build some extra war mammoth. Why not? Or war beasts or chaos war mammoth or whatever it's called in the different pop-ups. Okay, that might be too much money right now. Mm, and that's it. Okay, sounds great. How much we got in here? 7,000 troops, not that bad. Half cavalry, half war beasts. I hope they're gonna be worth uh, worth spending on. So, okay. Greenskins, greenskins, greenskins. I don't think we have any siege leaders in here, or like anywhere around there. And yeah, I haven't seen uh, too much uh, siege leaders in this particular uh, mod for some reason. The Ungur Bar Enduran Orc Horde Greenskin Uprising. Okay. A dangerous horde of Greenskins has reached Ungur Bar Endur. Uh, looks like you're wrong. The, the, the event popped, but there is no no war and no armies for some reason. That's fine with me. That's fine with me for sure. Yeah, looks like now that I've reached this green skin lands, it actually I'm actually gonna start receiving the invasions from the orcs, but I'm pretty sure I could handle handle uh, fighting with them. Also, and here let's go and get ourselves like majesty for some extra piety and prestige gain. A micro conspirator is requesting funds. 200 ducats? What? Yeah, even that her death is probably not worth so much. How long of a truce do we have with you? They even see it? I just paid, I don't care. Genadi of Ulth Ulrican Zealot Uprising. What the heck is Ulrican? I didn't even know we have such religious in our country. Oh well. Uh, our arm is on, in, on the way, so let's go and just send you like forward here. Try to deal with them. And the siege of, of your holdings should be done soon. Oh really? It's not enough war score? Okay, let's just assault the last one then. Success! Princess Christina sank like a stone when the bot she was on suffered an accident. Or accident. That's great. Okay, you go away and give me all your titles, please. That's better. And we have these guys still in here. From Odd Tra. Oh. Excuse me? Oh, I have a truce with you. No, yes. Yes, no, or haven't you just updated yet? Why can't I revoke title? Needs to be approved by my regent. Can shift not of Karaz must be your direct vassal. He is my direct vassal. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, we need to give away one extra holding. Do we have any spare in here? Yeah, I have cleared out some. It's gonna give you the Golini. Right, land the title. Is it? Yeah, it's, kill, it's called Zegalini. It's strange. Mm -hmm. I think it should be somewhere around the bottom as well, right? Zegalini. Okay. So, we could burn down some of this green skin lands. Oh, now you want even more lands. God damn it, you bastard. Um, hmm. 
Okay, anything around here got burned down. Tall soul. Yeah, you could receive tall soul as well. And then it's gonna be time for me to have a break, I think. <laughs> tall soul. Uh, is there a pop-up I could read about, like, being, being crafts and stuff? No, looks like not really. But yeah, I think is there, it's like still maybe two extra years we need to wait until we're gonna finish this sword and let's hope, uh, as I already said, it's gonna be worth it. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if not, see more, subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, I'll do it. And I would answer it as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.